And we are back with more Nexamon Extinction. Today, we are going to be taking out the Guild Tyrant, or whatever the hell is in here. Um, we're going to find out with Lydia on our side this time. This place is a wreck. It's been like this over 15 years. The Guild was desperate to defeat the Tyrants and ended their stupid war. Humanity was on the brink of extinction. We were terrified. So Amelie picked her best tamers to develop a weapon. Interesting. Okay. Again, this game is super freaking chill. If you love um, Pokemon 2D, it's right up your alley. I'm telling you right now. This guy's right up my alley. What the hell is he? Uh, really freaking cool guy. I'm a huge fan. Uh, we can probably give him more leaf chance if you find the catch. What do we kill? Okay, fair enough. Um, we will not catch in this room then. Oh, there's plenty of rooms to catch in. Probably run to that guy again. Not too worried about it. If not, no worries. You know what I mean? If not, no worries. Pretty cool. So these are the four dragons. No way. Just let the tyrant Emily chose to create a new breed of Nexamon. It's been powerful but mindless. On top of these, which one and only, which with one and only one directive, one and only one directive to follow. That didn't make sense to me for a second. That made sense. Seek destroy tyrants. You guys, you were desperate, creating an equal. The tyrants was our only chance to live another day. Why is that so dramatic? There's something else I need to see. Of all the stuff they could have done to fight the tyrants, they chose to make more monsters. I guess, but like, it kind of makes sense to me. Like, he's like, it doesn't make sense. I think it makes sense. Each next amount obeys only the king of monsters. So how did the guild manage to control the dragons? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, if, if you like to do Pokemon games, totally this game is up your alley. Um, it is such a faithful representation of those old school games. And Pokemon is sort of abandoned <laughs> to an extent, that 2D aspect. And that's fine. I think they can do what, whatever their hearts desire with, with their series and whatnot, right? Um, not against the ideas of, that they've been putting out there. I, I do like Scarlet Violet and Sword and Shield to an extent, uh, uh, less so than Scarlet Violet. Loved Arceus, so, I mean, you know, they, they've been doing some really good stuff, uh, but this is just, it's different, right? It, it, it's, it's very akin to those old games, but it definitely is optimizing in a lot of better ways. It sort of reminds me of, like, fan mods of Pokemon. So a few games with a lot of really good, um, quality of life stuff and everything like that. Quests and all these good things, you know? Also, this fun little guy. They are much higher level than me, by the way. So I might have to do some grinding at some point, which I'm not looking forward to, but also there's still like a decent bit of map to explore. So it's not like the end of the world, you know? There's a lot more to go through, so overall I am feeling okay about it. We do get the rest of the confusion there. We're just gonna gain some levels as well on these wild guys. We do need the levels. These guys are like literally on par with my levels. If I actually catch them, they're probably strolling my guys right now. So it's just saying like, yeah, this is gonna be a problem if I don't start getting some levels soon. I think natural heal has run its course though, I will say. It is starting to be a lot less powerful in this, uh, later fights. try to catch this guy. I really do like him. Uh, we probably beat first, though. So. Yeah, I'll see first. We might die for it, that's okay. We die for it, we die for it. I think we still have a revive. It's not the other world. Also, hopefully you don't mind my face cam. Um, <laughs> I'm just, uh, eating, stacking on some, uh, some dinner here with the almonds. Not a bandit dinner, but I had a pretty good lunch, so I'm like, eh. If I had a big enough lunch, it's not really the end of the world. I have just like almonds for dinner. It would have been chill. A bit low key. But yeah, don't mind me. Having a good time. You shouldn't hear it in the mic. Fingers crossed you don't. I think my settings are okay, but also like I updated OBS. I haven't really checked my settings since I updated, so they're a little wonky. Apologies. I will say, for being ultra rare, these guys do come up a lot. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Man, I feel like everything is, like, not effective against Ghost. I really don't know, like, what to put into Ghost.
Like, everything is just, like, neutral or, like, weak. Luckily, we just got a crazy drill, though. And just ram. Adventure. Adventure in Overwatch. Um, let's do a revive. Because I doubt we're going to run into a, uh, healing station anytime soon. Cool. Is that it? That was a pretty quick dungeon. level up. Might, might come in handy. Who knows, you know? Don't know until you see it. There's no more story, actually. Any next amount without a king will grow insane over time. So we did it. We gave them a king. We twisted their minds to believe that Eurus is the king of monsters. So to them, Eurus is Omnicron. Then why do the dragons avoid him? It's funny, really. Even Omnicron were to show up today, the dragons wouldn't recognize him as their king and attack him instead. Since Eurus is an oddly docile tyrant, Guild struck a deal with me to collaborate on their research. If you could really control them, what happened to this place? Fifteen years ago, something strange happened. All the dragons fell into madness, and even yours could stop them. I suspected that an ex extremely powerful tyrant awakened on that day, causing the frenzy, but I could never prove that theory. The whole project was a failure, but Emily had other plans. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I'm learning something, but also, like... Oh. That's the, that's the pre-evolution. It's cute. I feel like he's more rare than the main evolution which is kind of wild. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna also heal up a little bit here. And this is a dungeon, so I doubt there's gonna be any like generous healing items and whatnot here. Unfortunately, my ethers are very low. I gotta end up with more ethers sooner than later, but we're rocking it for now. I just have so much money in this game, and I'm not spending it on any healing items. <laughs> Which, you know, I get out and use them in battle, so it's not a problem. Um, you're probably worth killing at this point, right? Probably. Maybe, I don't know. A little extra chunk of XP. Yeah, he does level them up, which is worth it. Um, we do have a few lower level guys that we need to figure out, but for now we'll rule with this, because I imagine it's going to be a boss fight. Everything that happened, she learned nothing. Emily decided to start over, to breed yet another type of Nexamon. Emily, Emily, Amelie. Am I know Amelie. Okay, took me a second. I remember now. Are you kidding me again? A relentless woman indeed. Her obsession is a wind against the tyrants drove her beyond insanity. She spent the next 15 years trying to create the ultimate Nexamon. I objected. We all did. Atlanta, Jin, the very idea made us sick. She turned the guild against us. We brand branded us renegades. Oh, so the renegades are good people. I decided to remain the guild's puppet, though. It's good to keep your enemies close. The dragon ran rampage from just now. Could it be related to what happened 15 years ago? Maybe I don't know. This mystery, mystery will never be solved. The fact means that the love of guild is run by a mad woman. Please help stop Emily before it's too late. Amelie. Apologies. I think it's Amelie, not Emily. Uh, I think it's just the, the, my accent. Apologies. Uh, what was that sound? Guys, somebody is here. Until the guild is already after us. What have we gotten ourselves into? Come on, we have to move. Shit, so now we're we're gonna be labeled Frank Gates very shortly here. What the hell? Is this new cave? Oh, it's just this. Nice, golden extra. Always beneficial to see that. The music is insane in this game. It is it goes so freaking hard. Um, we are gonna switch out bomb reel then. Um, we need to get more levels on other folks here. So we will do that. Actually, we're gonna do Hedica because Hedica does not have any of the XP passives. Like um, my good friend, uh, I don't know his name. So is this the guild or is this something else? I think that's part of the question, right? Good XP. That one gets good XP. It's fully evolved, so that makes sense. I 
wish I had a repel so I can just listen to music all day. That's okay. Though. That's the one thing about this game. I wish that they didn't go to the battle music every time you fought. Like, I feel like this game would be way better if, like, it kept the battle music. Like, sort of like how, like, um... I kind of think of a game that does that really well. Like, Persona, in the right moments, will keep the music going. In the right spots. Like, of course it has its own battle theme, but, like, that's when the music's more, like, um... Kind of, like, nonchalant, you know? When the music's, like, in the intense phase like this, it'll keep that music throughout. Which is just way better game design, in my opinion. Th and let me add that this game is designed super fucking well. I mean, let that that is not a indicative statement on the rest of this game by any means. It is doing very good, cool stuff. It just, I wish that the music was going, because it's, it's such a bop. It's such a freaking bop, and they just abandoned it, you know what I mean? Disappointing. Really great track, though. Yeah, this game is, like, so, like, anime. If, if Pokemon games were actually, like, anime, unlike the actual Pokemon anime, like, that's this is what this game would be like. This is what the games would 100% be like. What are you going? Should I just leave? It's my chance to end this. If I can defeat Amelie now, I will suffer from creating any more aberrations. Kevin, this is a sense of moment of your life. Stand up and fight or run like a coward. Dude, I swear. I love Lydia. Lydia's fucking awesome. She's, I, I didn't like her at first, because I was like, oh, she's kind of bad. Like, she's kind of a, a bad person, but now she's, like, she's bad in a good way. <laughs> she made the heat part. What kind of question is that? You heard her. The boss is super crazy. She made the dragons and all this. But what if her new creation actually works this time? If it's so good, then why keep it a secret? I'll help Lydia stay if you want. What is Kat going to say? Coco, I mean. Are we the bad guys? Oh, that's enough for the end of our careers. Yeah, we're going. Are, do, are we given, like, a choice here, though? The music stopped. So, like, this is, like, our moment to choose. Do we want to be... the bad guy or the good guy here? I'm going to save just to see if that theory is true. And I will reload. I will reload if, um... if I need to. Because I just want to test the theory of if we leave... Wait, is that legit? Journal? No. Will you challenge her? What if we don't? Can we actually just leave? No, I think we have to. What if we don't, though? Like, if we really don't want to. No, we have to. Dang it, man. I was hoping it'd be like a Mass Effect, like... Choose your own side. Choose your own faction. In this moment, this is your time to decide which way you want to fight. I don't know if Mass Effect does that exactly, but... They tried to. Uh-oh. Leo's okay. Relatively. Step away from that renegade. She has deceived you. Surely my word topples that of a criminal. Perhaps you want to listen to that, your friends instead. What? Dude, are we going to be against them? Are we going to be, like, bad guys? And this dangerous renegade! So do them and take all the... Whoa! I knew you were up to something shady. And you too, Coco? You're just trying to get promoted. Okay, that's it. This is so cool, <laughs> dude. This is such a cool one to do rivals. Holy shit. I was not expecting this game to take this type of turn. I've been waiting for this moment. And like, it's, it like slow burned into it too, which was like really freaking sick. That was, this has been really fucking rad. I, that's amazing. Amazing turn of events. Really freaking brilliant. You don't see storytelling like that in Pokemon. I will say that with a full confidence. You do not see that in Pokemon. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. What a wild turn of events. I don't know if we win these fights, by the way. One damage, you've got to be kidding me. We do die to that. I know he has the heal, too. Probably. So we need something quick. We don't have anything quick. We just don't. Like, nothing else beats that heal. Hmm, help us. You 
adjust one more time. That skills, right? One health, I swear to God. Please, thank you. Jeez Louise. Thank you. Just thank you. This is the last guy. Oh, but it's weak. This reach is good here. I didn't mean to screech again. Oh, I threw. I threw, I threw, I threw. It does actually sack though, it looks like. But yeah, I threw. Oh, he lives? I think we actually make him live here, because I want to give him the XP. He got a lot of XP from this fight. Yeah, we let him live. Risky, sure, but eh, I think it's fine. Landon's really good for like ending fights. I will say that. It's like the one trade it's good at. When you know the last guy is like not strong against you and doesn't have any moves that can really hit you. It's just really good to have it. Great, I think got a new skill. Love to see it. Great water type damage. I think Ice Flakes is time to go. It's just like it's very niche. The removing attack buffs can like is going to save me in future. I, I think Ice Flakes is gotta go. It's just no need for it. Ross, are you out of your mind? You don't have twisted run kids are, don't be a fool. I will fight you if I have to. Did say I healed before that? Dude, what? How fair is that? Are you kidding me? I don't get the heal? Luckily I can solo, but like, man, that's brutal. This does not spread lightly with the dude. That's crazy, man. I will say, Nuzlocke in this game would go so hard. It'd be insanely difficult, but it would go so hard. Yup. Uh, I think Dracula dies. Maybe he misses. Get the gust? Crazy. Crazy. Actually insane. Come on, demotivated fool. Uh, good Pierce Horn. Please hit. Thank you. Please hit. Please hit. I think we would outwit this. Doesn't have the typings for it. She does not have the typings for it. Nice. Huge dubs. Hit like a Arcane Siphon. The damage received from the next ghost type attack is nullified and instead restores 50% of the damage received. Kind of nuts. I think it's better than Glare. I think it's better than Glare. Haunting is so niche. You know what I mean? But it does go in handy with my one ability, so it, when I need to like, guarantee a hit and I have a safe turn, it is worthwhile. Goodness, I think that you have grown so much. I don't want to fight you. Don't you see what Lydia has done to you? Of course, as I created the dragons, they were our only hope to survive against the tyrants. But after the tragedy of 15 years ago, I determined their research. Simple as that. What proof did this woman give that I had created Vados? The fact that she didn't call it Vados. Right? She never gave me the name. You gave me the name. Dude, I'm the writer of this game, I swear to God. Yo! Yo! Let's go! Insane. Okay. Arg. So it's true. You lied to us. You've turned so short. I, I was hoping they'd be enemies the rest of the way. That's okay, though. Our world crumbles as we speak. The tyrants took everything from us. I will do what I must for Param, for humanity, for you. The dragons of Adelson will create anything to save our people. Building our planet with abominations will solve anything. I will show you what an abomination can do. Bados, come to me. I mean, it was obvious she was... I mean, she, she gave that guy energy. I didn't expect her to kind of be like this bad though, you know? That was shocking. I, I thought she'd be the bad guy. I'm pretty sure I thought that at least, but this is definitely a little bit shocking to me. Yo, it's kind of freaking sick. What in the world? What the heck is happening? That's not a Nexamon. Definitely not a Nexamon. In Olzar's name, what have you done? I do regret that it had come to this. This is 
is like final boss energy, even though we're like not even halfway through the game right now. This is accumulation, the culmination of a lifetime of research and hard work. The ultimate weapon to end the stupid war and save mankind. This is Vados, the artificial tyrant. A shield to protect all humans. A sword to slay all tyrants. With Vados, we will take back our planet and our future. An artificial tyrant? This woman is super messed up. You will doom us all, Amelie. It shouldn't have ended this way. Goodbye. Is what's his face gonna help Sanders or whatever his name is? He's probably a bad guy too, to be honest. Maybe not though. That's the way it would be. I don't know who's like on her side right now. Like I kind of have an idea of who's on her side right now, but also like, like it would be everybody like who's like with the guild, right? Probably, right? Or or is she like kind of rogue in the guild? And, like she's the only one that's like kind of you know kind of thing. Wake up, wake up, Ty Nadine. Come on, use my power. You want to live, use my power. That's pretty cool. I will say Nadine's getting a lot more love than the other the other guy. Whatever his name was. I don't even know his name anymore. No, he's probably a harder fight. It seems that you can't harness much of my power yet. But this ought to be enough to save you and your friends, I think. Prepare for a rough landing. So we went from Drake Isles down to wherever the hell we're going now. That's kind of nuts. We're back in the frozen tundra. Okay. Is Atlanta going to be here? I hope so. I love Atlanta. Now that I know her story a bit more. That one guy died, though, and he was, like, a good guy, right? Is that how that works? Maybe. I don't know. He was, like, a bad guy. Oh, it is Atlanta. No? No, it's not. Wake up, kiddo. Are you going to make it me drag you all the way home? I don't know who this is. It's a ghost, I think. Maybe someone to look like a tutorial guy? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I also feel like my mic is not doing the normal, like, piece that it does. So apologies if it sounds a little rough. Hopefully I fixed it in editing. Um, but I, I, I'm gonna give it a listen after this. I, I definitely updated up OBS, and I don't think it saved my settings on the microphone, so I might have to re-go and figure that out again, which sucks, but... That's why I don't update OBS, but also it's like, uh, eventually it doesn't support it anymore, so it's like... You know, you gotta do it eventually, but... Hopefully it, it isn't too bad. The story got really good now. It's been good throughout, but like this, it, it was kind of dragging on a little bit, but now it's like freaking amazing. Hey, you're awake. I like Leo a lot too, he's a cool character. But this is Amelie's trump card to slay all the tyrants. That's a good thing, isn't it? We can finally get rid of the tyrants. Right, of course, that's what we said about the dragons. Look where that landed us, literally. Guys, we are, why are we inside the guild outpost? This is Amelie's turf. Fear not, it seems Amelie has gone missing after our last encounter. I can only assume that she's busy working on Vados. Nobody seems to be coming after us, we're safe. I say we strike before, strikes, before she strikes us, I'm not just gonna stand here. Yeah, sure, kid. And where the heck do you think Amelie is hiding? It could be anywhere. We must split up. We need to look for clues if we hope to discover her whereabouts before it's too late. We should rest while we search for Amelie's location. It's payback time. Remember to keep this secret. Most teamers won't take kindly to our accusations against Amelie. This will surely blow my chance for promotion. Forget about that. If you don't find a location, you're gonna come after us sooner or later. We don't have a choice here. I like how they're just like in on it now. They like get it. Like because of the name reveal, I feel like that wasn't like a big like it was like it made sense. Like it made sense to an extent, but like it also didn't in their perspective. Like in my eyes it made a lot of sense. But from their perspective, it's like, why does it matter that she didn't tell me the name? Like, why does that change their minds and, like, oh, you lied to us? Because she wasn't talking to the kids. Right? Like, from their perspective, they should not just be on board after after she reveals that. Like, I'm, like, on board after she reveals that, for sure. Because, like, how does she know the name when the main character either doesn't or, like, doesn't reveal it to me, I guess? I, I, I think maybe she just had in her dialogue. She doesn't know the name of it. Fair enough, right? But... Very strange. Very strange. We're in the frozen tundra. It's pretty dangerous around here. Take this, will you? Thank you. Only it's you, though, so it's not really that strong. Surely you've used cores by now. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Imagine making it this far and not using cores. Holy shit, this game is difficult, man. Apparently, it's a very miserable town because it's always under siege for a while next month. I bet there's a bunch of quests for us to do. If you make it through this game without any cores, you're a psychopath. 
Greetings, good to see you here. Do you have time for a little job? We are a little bright. I'm giving you the job. As long as it's easy, you're just an evil spirit. Chop, chop. Since he just goes to be attacking tamers in the cave of the east. Spectre's quite powerful, as I'm told. You have to be prepared. You know we're kids. You're a cat and... <laughs> cat and can't blink. I can't blink? Wait, can I not blink? Is that is that really, like, legit? Also, Valky's kind of worth it. I don't blink. Yo, that's a fact. Okay, cave to the east. Figure that eventually. Uh, some fun people over here. By that, I mean, not really that fun, but whatever. This is the um, the main guild, right? But it's the guild in the tundra, it looks like. Or sounds like, at least. I bet you we're going to learn a surf ability to get through this, of course, but we're not there yet. It doesn't mean like there's a lot of backtracking that you need to do, like get like collectibles and stuff. Maybe I'm wrong with that assumption. Oh, we're back here. I've already been here. Look over there. Isn't it the brave Videl? What's she doing here? If we back off slowly, she might not see us. I've definitely been here before. Okay, but like accidentally. Okay, well at least I know my bearings. Oh, what are you guys doing in this battlefield with all the bandits and men next amount attacking this poor city? Why are you here then? Get hired to dig up an old bunker for the civilians. Want to help? We're a little busy right now. The guild is paying a lot for this gig. But of course we want to help the people. What do you need? Oh, because he wants the money. Right. I'm running along. Oh, he's supposed, he's supposed to deliver bonds. It's super late. Can you go tell him to hurry up? Sure. Sure thing. Did I stutter? Go, oh, chop, chop. You need that bunker. Lots of people are dying. I don't know if they're dying, but maybe. I don't know. I think last time our job was, like, save miners in an ice cave, and we didn't save a single miner in an ice cave. Um, so I meant just a similar thing where it's like, hey, save the people, even though we aren't saving anybody. I'm guessing that's what's going on. Uh, anyways. You, my friend. I don't remember what you're doing. Oh, you need the fire next spawn. Yeah, you're just gonna die. It's fine, bro. Like, you're so picky. You can just get any fire next spawn. You're like, oh, I need these shears specifically. Kind of, uh, kind of an asshole. Uh, let's grab probably ten. Two ten of each. Uh, yeah, why not? You so much money. Seven to five. Uh, do I need any of these? Probably a couple. No food, though. Oh, thank you, bud. Thank you, kindly, sir. Um, alright. Ice is not actual ice. That's good to know. So, apparently this is where the... Oh, we need to do this quest, though, right? Yeah. Just grab it, right? Be three thieves, you need at least six to earn the bounty. Oh, it's the bounty quest, right. Right, 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 right. right. So any thieves we run into, we do have to battle, though. Good to know. Are we healed? I wish this game auto-healed you, man. Oh my god, sometimes it's just like... Like, that's such an obvious point where, like, heal me. You know what I mean? Just small quality, like, things like that. But I, it's also fair. Like, the rules are consistent, so I shouldn't be that upset, but... It's also like, god damn. Like, come on, man. I know a little something, man. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're doing well. Um, and if you're curious, if you want to see any of the next one that I've caught, like CB use them, let me know in the comments. I, I I'm very flexible with that. I think for now I'm gonna stick to the team. But if you if you're like, hey, I want you to use so and so, it might take me a while to get to it. To be honest with you, because I, again, I think I'm only like episode nine or ten by the time I'm recording this one. So definitely a fair bit off, but. Still, um, definitely let me know if you're curious. Um, uh, like seeing, like, an evolution line or whatever, right? Or also, um, again, if you, if you don't want to wait for me to figure it out, like, definitely give this game a shot. I cannot recommend it any more, um, than I already have, I feel. Uh, if you love 2D Pokemon, you'll love this game. Like, far none. And if you love anime, you'll really love this game. It, it's 2D Pokemon with a very, like, solid storyline. Shockingly enough, right? So, it, it does, it, it's really pretty. I, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge, huge fan. Could not recommend it enough. You will not be making a mistake paying to pay money for this game. It's not even a full CCL game. It's like a $30 game, I think. Even hard copy, I think, is like 30 bucks. So definitely give it a go. I, I would recommend. Um, I think it's a digital for me, though. I'm on PC. What am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's like a Switch game. I'm not on Switch. I'm using a controller, of course, but... I'm on Switch. Or Steam. I think that's where my confusion came from. 
Switch and Steam are very similar names. That's not a bandit, so I'm not gonna bother battling him. Bottling him. Bottling him. A nice refinery. Uh, it looks like there's nothing here, but then again, that makes me think there is something here. There is. Nice little chest here. Maybe a companion. Psychic whistle. Okay, not bad. Man, that's where the randomizer would go so hard. If, like, all these little chests have, like, something, like, weird in it, that could be, like, really freaking powerful. That'd be kind of cool. But, like, you know it's not gonna be anything too crazy, but the second whistle is actually not terrible, by any means. Helps the catching out psychic types. So, it's, you know, it's not unuseful. Get it. Definitely fight here. Because we need to kill six to get a quest done. Whoa. His final evolution's insane. Also, the bright side, though, you are going to see evolutions like this. Like, I have this guy in the second evol evolution. This is the third evolution for sure. And he looks freaking awesome. Huge fan. Huge fan. Water spectrum ghost. Good to know. Good to know that. Um, I do think we die. We stay in. I think we died if we stayed in there. This one might got to tell me. Um, Water Blast feels really good here, but Fury Fear, Fear Storm feels good too. Fear Storm is actually really fucking strong. It's super fast, dude. It's kind of crazy. Dude. I will say, like, now that the moves are getting much stronger, since these fights are much easier. Like, I think that was just the cap. It was, like, getting the really strong ones. Ooh, that's really good. I think we dropped Corrupted. It's really useful, but like... I think Elemental Ops is better. Especially if we have a heal now, too. Ooh, sorry, spare me. I'll leave you alone. I think that's the first time I've seen the fire ability in the open world before. Kind of insane. I don't know how he saw me, by the way. Oh, I didn't heal. Really bad idea. Not heal there, you know? Probably a bad idea. It will be okay, but... Oh, this guy. Derticles. Say it was a missed opportunity to not call him Dirtless. Or not Dirtless, what's his name? The guy who does the, the rock of the hill. Sisyphus. Dirtifus or something like that. Is Psychic strong as water? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, eventually. Didn't think about being tired there. No, it's not. It's just the best bet, I guess. Um, I forget what Psychic is like. We against me, Rock. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Figuring it out. No, not very effective. I guess if we're both weak. My drill probably kills all the way here, right? At least need a work oil. Oh, that's a lot. Demotivated is ass here. Yeah. Critical's red, interesting. Okay. Dude, demotivated again? You've gotta be kidding me. Fine. Um. Uh, I mean, Drainifant dies. Kind of labels, I guess, fine here. Didn't last a hit. Ooh, he switched too. They have two rock types. That sucks, man. Uh, I wish I could heal a fucking plus his face.
Dream of Pink goes so hard in this fight. I think you finished this fight off, though. You're fine, bro. Nice. Okay. You made it work. Dream at level 31. Love to see it. Third illusion. Here we go. Be good to me. One of my favorite CS songs. Yo, let's go. My boy. What a legend. Love him. Tuskins. Tuskins. Huge fan. This was the cave with the creepy guy. Meaning we should not fight this. We should back up and heal. Right. Probably. Probably the right call. Is it a pain to traverse this land again? Absolutely, but... Killing you just because I'm angry. Also, he's going to miss. The fact you don't hear this, though... I'm making, like, a... Hand noise. It tells me that my mic isn't that bad. We'll see. I don't know. I'm a little paranoid over it. I'm a big uh, audio freak. If it's not perfect, like I get upset. Although to be fair, my audio is like it never turns out perfect because I'm just not good at it at setting it. But to my my idea, of perfect, right? Like pretty good. Trust me, if I didn't put care into my audio at all, it would sound god awful. So. Um, Trust me, if, you, if, if, if for whatever reason you think it's, like, really bad now, like, it's not, like, the best now. I'm not going to say I'm, like, this, like, savant at audio engineering. I'm good at a lot of things. That's not one of them. Um, but hopefully it sounds good enough, right? You at least enjoy the videos uh, and have a good time. And speaking of enjoying the videos, if you've enjoyed this video, oh my gosh, what bombshells with the storyline. I'm really excited to discover more um, as we continue to play the game. Um, we'll probably take on the cave next. If I remember what I'm doing, <laughs> it might be a little bit before I actually play. Or I'll play again uh, today. I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm feeling. I, I might actually play again. We'll see. Um, but I'll, I'll do the cave next, and then we'll continue the main story and go from there. So, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and um, check out those series on the channel. It's been good. Um, good mix of stuff with Honey, Adrian, Colt, and Elden Ring right now. So, Elden RNG, if you will. I like that fun little name. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed with the, the thumbnails, if you're curious, though. It is Elden RNG, like, number generator, not, like, Elden Ring. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anyways, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll check out the next one.